Looking for this? Surprise! Fragile warped me here. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry. I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. You may recall me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. Towards you, Sam. It's because we're partners. Hmm. Partners? Sam, a BB's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware, becoming an actual child. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose it cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Cease functioning? That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment, to put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this will work? <sighs> of course! One catch, though. The surgery may erase its memories. Erase? Will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select retry and start again! <laughs> And this is why I hate these things. Ugh. Oof. Uh, Sam. I was already filthy from my trip through the beach, but now your BB has added insult to injury.
buying us in here. It's just you and me. No audio records of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Die Hardman cannot know of this. Understood? I've been doing some digging into the first BP experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret on the direct orders of President Strand. Bridget? The BBs were essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the Cairo network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name or his face. I thought you might, since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Ryan, sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the Cairo Network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. Send you out. If 
If everything goes to plan, your BB should resume normal function. Fortunately, this plan advances our other objectives. We want to integrate this region into the Cairo network anyway. So build relationships with the preppers by making deliveries and convince them to come on board. It's not easy to make a home for yourself in those mountains. Even so, plenty of people had a mind to try. You'll find shelters scattered throughout. We've got a whole list of orders from them waiting to be processed. Remember, though, that you're dealing with folks who chose to live out there. Folks who probably value their privacy. Don't think for a second it'll be easy to win them over. You'll have to earn their trust, bit by bit, job by job. Another thing, Sam. You'll be making runs without a BB for a spell. That will vastly diminish your ability to detect BTs. So keep your eyes and ears open for anything out of the ordinary. And stay the hell out of the rain if you can help it. Sun grenades can be used to incapacitate hostiles quickly and effectively. Now when thrown, they detonate on contact, releasing a powerful shockwave. Enough to put any living creature in close proximity out of action. BTs will be completely unaffected, however. Sam, you read me? Um, Lagna? Uh-huh. Calling you via a bridge's dedicated line. I've been asked to carry on in my sister's place and provide you with support. We're whole again. One. Forever and always. We still speak, so I shouldn't have any trouble getting up to speed. You back with bridges then? It's not about that. Never was. It's about what she wants. What we want. And why shouldn't we help you? You helped us. We're all connected now. Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. Scanning uh, bridges ID. Fragile Express ID verified. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo vet. something I've been meaning to ask. Would you help me join the UCA? If me, being a part of it ensures more people get the medical attention they require, then it's well worth the hassle. <clears throat> Thank you for that. I might not be as young as I once was, but I've still got plenty to offer. Oh, by the way, I came across something I thought you might find useful. You're more than welcome to it.
deliveries have saved lives. And, as you know, every life that's saved is one fewer BT to deal with. Which in the long run means even more lives are saved. Please, don't give up. No matter how difficult it may become, I implore you. I see you've put another shelter on the network. Nice job. Chiral levels are increasing as predicted, which is good. As for BB-28, you'll be pleased to hear the operation went well. There should be no need for additional major procedures. We're not out of the woods yet, but I think it's safe to say that the worst is behind us. All that remains is to continue expanding the network, monitor changes as chiral levels increase, and make adjustments as necessary. Drug therapy should suffice. Keep it up, Sam. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Listen to your body and don't overdo it. I hear you're the one to talk to about the chiral network. Is it true that a contractor let me access your schematics and so forth? I want to share my research with everyone. Let them read it. Let them learn from it, like I learned from their work. Make me a part of the UCA. Very good, very good. Guess we're in this together now, Sam. I'd love to show you around the place, but... <laughs> It's a terrible mess. Thanks, Sam. BB-28 appears to be on the road to recovery. Its affinity with the other side is growing stronger, as we hoped. The convulsions and spasms have ceased as well. I know it's tough out there without a BB, but you've got to keep on fighting the good fight. Just like the kid is. Just like BB-28 is. Sam. We've received an order from a new client. Check the terminal in Mountain Knot City for the details, and do it soon. Sounds like someone is in need of medicine. Good work. New order available. the roboticist's custom-made active skeleton, isn't it? Should be a big help on mountain trails or any lousy road, come to think of it.
Come back anytime. Contaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, uh, Sam Port Bridges. Construction complete. Clients requested that you complete this order as soon as possible. In other words, speed will determine your eval. Keep in mind, however, that when operating outside network coverage, you won't be able to fabricate additional items. You'll need to choose carefully from the equipment provided by the client. Now the clock won't start until you set out. So, take your time to get your gear in order before you do. isn't working. We need to act fast. 
I hoped the antibiotics would alleviate the worst of the symptoms, but it looks like we're past that stage. An infection like this so late in the pregnancy can cause any number of complications. Even if she survives, there is a risk she could suffer brain damage, even brain death. Now, I need you to deliver this prototype bioprinter and remote medical terminal to the Mountaineer. If you can connect them to me via the chiral network, I can use this equipment to diagnose the patient's condition and provide treatment. The terminal will allow them to transmit their genetic code, with which I can formulate a DNA vaccine for printing. At present, only vaccines utilizing viruses and other non-living components can be generated in this fashion, but future advancements may free us of this limitation. It should go without saying, but this is delicate equipment. Don't break it, whatever you do. Oh, and uh, thank you. the terminal from my end. Just, just a moment. Everything's going to be all right. With this device, I, I can examine her as if I were actually there. The manipulators on the terminal perfectly reflect my movements here. And with a bioprinter, I can provide a custom-made vaccine. It's just a shame my better half hasn't had a chance to build any more of these things. You're looking at the only ones we have. Don't worry, though. We'll do everything we can to ensure your child is safely delivered. Oh, thank you. This is... this is incredible. You should thank him. The network he's helping to build is going to change the face of medicine forever. All right. Let's have a look at you. You've brought us the next best thing to a live-in Dr. Sam. Thank you so much. Nicely done. BB-28 will be back in action soon. The kid's a real trooper. Stay the course, Sam. Heads up, Sam. Got a fresh order for you from a certain mountaineer. It'll take you to a region not yet covered by the chiral network. Suffice it to say, this is a chance to change that. Look into it as soon as you can. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. You're gonna love power gloves. 
They provide a major boost to arm and grip strength. If you're scaling a cliff with a rope, you'll be able to make your way to the top a lot faster. You'll also notice a difference when lifting heavy cargo. And that's not all. Ever take a tumble down a steep slope? You probably tried to slow your descent with your hands, right? Well, if you've got these on, you'll be able to stop yourself that much more quickly. Just promise me you won't try punching someone, okay? That's not what they're for. Bridges, right? You don't have anything else for me, do you? No? Okay. Never mind. Never thought I'd receive a delivery in such excellent condition. favor to ask. Do you think you could find my father's camera for me? It's kind of a long story, but he used to conduct field research in the area. My father believed that the key to understanding the Death Stranding was hidden here, somewhere in the caves and strata. But he passed away before he could complete his work, leaving me to finish what he started. And not long ago, I found something, something amazing. I was sure it was what my father had been looking for, even if I couldn't see how it related to the Death Stranding myself. What I needed was an expert opinion, someone who could look at what I'd found and tell me what it meant. So, I grabbed my father's camera and set out to document my discovery, took pictures of every last detail. But on the way back, I spotted a group of armed men and I panicked, dropped everything and ran like hell. Thankfully, they never saw me, but when I stopped running, uh, I realized the camera was gone, case and all. I've been trying to pluck up the courage to go and look for it ever since. But then, I remembered that the cargo tag was still on the case. And I figured, you being with bridges and all, that you might have a way to pinpoint its location. Please. I'd give anything to have it back. I'm gonna put in the order. Please understand, that camera means everything to me. Until I know it's safe, I can't think about anything else. There's a terminal there you can use if you want to get started right away. Here. It's what I'd take if I were going myself. Knock yourself out. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery.
you. I was afraid I'd never see it again. Oh, thank God. It looks uh, exactly like it always did. Oh, you don't know what this means to me. my father's idea to move all the way out here. He thought he could get to the bottom of the Death Stranding all by himself. And we were right behind him. But look where it got us. If you hadn't come along when you did, the camera would be gone, and all our hard work would have been lost before anyone had a chance to see it. We can't let that happen. The world needs to hear about this. Someone out there will know what it means. So, Connect us up. We want to be a part of the UCA. I truly hope our work will help to make a difference. Thanks again. I hope we get to meet again before too long. Sam, it's Hartman. That camera you recovered contains some fascinating footage. The data stored on it was automatically shared with us after you added the photographer's shelter to the network, along with her father's research materials. Anyway, my lab still doesn't have a high-speed chiral connection, but I was able to check one of the images against a database at HQ. Based on my preliminary calculations and the photographic and documentary evidence in our archives, I would estimate the paintings to be in the region of 30,000 years old, if not older. The artists were likely Neanderthals or other precursors who were migrating across the continent. See the dolphin-like creatures there? At the time, the cave would have been situated even farther from the coast than it is now. So how could the artists possibly have encountered dolphins? Answer? They couldn't. It is my belief that they had a brush not with dolphins, but with beach things. And that would mean the Death Stranding is not the first phenomenon of its kind, that it has happened before. Since the birth of our planet, countless species have gone extinct, from bacteria to dinosaurs. Scientists refer to the largest known mass extinctions as the Big Five. But there have, of course, been many other extinction events, albeit on a smaller scale. What if the artists were trying to document one such event, that of their own extinction? It would be the first record in Earth's history of a death stranding. And it would also lend credence to my theories. The sooner you come and connect me to the network, the sooner we'll know. Just imagine the mysteries we'll be able to solve. I'll be waiting, Sam. Wonderful news, Sam. BB-28's vitals are nearly within optimal operating parameters. Just before I called, it opened its eyes. It was looking all over, as if searching for someone. And then, our eyes met. For a moment, I think. I tell you, it was almost enough to make me want to keep the kid for myself. Anyway, I still need to run diagnostics and make adjustments as needed. However, the fluctuating local chiral levels could pose a problem. Think you can bring one more site into the network? Once you have, and once I have subsequently confirmed that DB is functioning reliably, I'll release it into your custody. This is the last step, I promise. Just one more site, that's all we should need. Good luck. Good work. New order available. Please access the delivery terminal. Sam, I see you received a mail from our Mountaineer friend. Seems he's got an order for you. Might be good to give it a look.
Sam. I'm here to help. Hey, everything's gonna work out, okay? But right now, I need you to focus. Think of where you wanna go. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Very clear. All weapons will remain locked until the marshal. All clear. Sam Bridges. There's someone we need you to deliver a package to. She's a strange bird. It lives even higher up in the clouds than we do. And the research she's doing? Well, it's out there and then some. And we're talking straight up occult stuff, though she wouldn't be very happy hearing me say so. And she claims she's delving into the mysteries of the cosmos. Anyway, I found this rock out in the mountains with a handprint on it. And when I mentioned it to her, she got all excited. I honestly don't know what kind of close encounter she thinks it signifies. But I was wondering if you could bring it to her for me. And joining the UCA has opened my eyes to a few things. Like how there are all these people out there trying to make sense of the Death Stranding in their own way. And sure, her ideas may sound like the ravings of a lunatic to me, but... They clearly mean something to her, and I'd like to help her out. With your assistance, that is. You'll find an official order on the terminal. Sam, it's just like the one at South Knot City. A vortex loaded with so much chiralium that it's almost off the charts. Slowly but surely, it's creeping closer to us here in Mountain Knot. At least that's what I think, but I can't see it. Not with the naked eye. But the data doesn't lie. It's the same temporal phenomenon that you told me dropped you in a war zone. I told you, but that wasn't. The Cupid's Limiter can handle most chiral spikes, but we didn't plan for another supercell. Another supercell? I told you it was the same as before. Mama, is that you? You got me, Sam. It's been a while. But not really. Malingan, Machna, we're the same. One body, one mind, one being. There's no point in trying to draw a distinction. Not in this world. We're all connected. Remember that. Order assigned. Bridges. I've been expecting you. The Mountaineer told me all about you. This handprint you brought me, or stenciled as I prefer to call it, is a vital clue. It hails from an era long before the dawn of human history. I'm going to date it and lay bare the cause of the Death Stranding. And when I do, all the secrets of the cosmos shall be revealed. Uh, did you know this mountain used to be a pyramid in ancient times? 
It's true. You won't find a place closer to the beach than this. To the wellspring, a source of untold power. How else do you think that chiral network of yours works? But I digress. Show me the stencil. Thank you. It's in excellent condition. All right, connect me to the chiral network. have everything I need to date the stencil. Once I have my results, I'll share them with you and your colleagues at Bridges. You've done a good thing, Sam. If you find anything else, be sure to bring it straight to me. I'll be waiting. Sam, it worked. BB-28 is in excellent condition. No evidence of lingering attachments or homesickness either. Perhaps its memory was erased after all. All that remains is for you to hook it up and take it for a run. I was hoping to return it to you as soon as possible, but... Uh, I don't want to. I mean, I do. But it's a little more complicated than that. What? We've got a problem. You may have heard about the massive supercell heading right for Mountain Knot City. I left my facility to perform some additional tests on the BB in the field, and now I find myself unable to return. You know the cabin on the mountainside, northeast of Mountain Knot? Let's meet there. Good work.